hello loves and welcome back to my channel so this is sarah here once again you are welcome if you are new here thank you for stopping by please do not forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment down below so today's video is about this illusion crochet braids that i was so happy to try this saves you a lot of time if you don't have time for individual braids so let's get right into the video okay so what i'm doing now is to section the front part of my hair that i'm going to be doing the illusion braids At this point, we're going to tuck the rest of our hair away into a scrunchie. Then make sure our middle part is all sleek with any other gel that you have. I'm using the Eco Styler gel, so that's what I'm using to sleek my middle part. Then I'll begin the section. So I'm going to be having five sections on each side, so four parts and five sections each. So I will have in total ten sections. Once I'm done with the parts, I'm going to start with my illusion braids. So this part is pretty simple. What you do is you section the first part, then you make sure that it is well defined with your gel or jam. Then you twist it away or braid it whichever way you prefer. So I twisted some and I braided some. So you twist it or braid it, then you take the next section, you make sure it's all slicked as well and defined. Then what you do is you section that part into two and use your first braided section or your first twisted section as the third leg for a braid. So you connect the first braided section as the third leg of the next session then you braid it down into a normal braid i hope it's understandable i think you would understand more when you watch the video so just pay close attention to the video and you would understand Once again, you section your parts, apply some gels and make sure that your parts is all clean. Then you braid or twist it down, whichever way you prefer. I think the braids work best for me because the twists unravels when you tend to connect it to the next section. So I think the braids are the best. So once you are done with your first braided section, you take your, your next parts you clean it up with your jam then section that part into two and connect the first braided part as a third leg to the next section then you braid it into a normal braid so you do that until you get to the end of your section so what i did was i did two braids close to my ears then i did three braids in in all so that's what i did for each sections two braids close to my ear and three braids for the rest of the section if you do not want to braid as well i think rubber bands can do the job well for you 
but i did not use rubber bands because i don't know the rubber bands that i find here in aqua ghana they are not that good and strong and it tends to burst out when i use it so i don't know if you're in ghana you can comment in the comment section where i can get a good and a better rubber band So once we are good with the front section i want to move to the back and i would be doing big cornrows like eight cornrows in the middle but before that i want to be able to hold my braid up so what i will do is uh, i will create four sections individual braid sections at the back then i will connect both the braided back section and the front illusion braid sections to the bigger cornrow if you've watched to this point thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe and like share and leave a comment also in the comment section below it goes a long way to help my channel So when I'm done, I'm going to be having two big braids like this. So what I'm going to do is to take my crochet pin and pass the tips through my braids to tuck it in. So here we are nice and clean we are going to start with the crochets and the braids we are using is this this soft locks from freedom it's called the youthful locks and that's what we're using today so i have a detailed crochet tutorial on my channel i will link it up here somewhere and also in the description box so that you can have a look at them so what I'm doing is passing my hook through my braid, connect the loop of the soft locks to it, pull it out and pass the tip of the soft locks through the loop and make it into a knot. So the essence of this four braids at the back of my head is to help cover my big braids whenever I want to hold my head up into a bun or a high ponytail. So this is the final look with the back view but you know we are not done unless we apply some spray and some accessories to it so this is the good accessories this hair is very simple and i'm in love with it for those of us that don't have all the time at our disposal this is one of the quickest and easiest ways to do your braids that will save you a lot of time Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share, and leave a comment or so. It goes a long way. So until I see you in my next video, have fun. Bye.